Hello again everyone, this is Game Collector here, and this week I have with me Transformers Generations Scout Class Swerve and his Target Master Flanker. And this is the version of Swerve that is currently in the IDW More Than Meets the Eye comics, or Matem T. And I actually had the original G1 Swerve when I was little, and then I lost him. And I'm glad I have him back. Now I just need to get Tailgate so I can have that long lost toy replaced as well. Because I lost him in a department store. But we'll talk about that when we actually get to uh, Swerve, or Tailgate, but right now we're on Swerve. Here is the bio that they come with, and you can pause it there. I'll leave it up there a few seconds if, you know, pausing's not good enough for you. Are you done? Okay, you're done. The um, stats for these, oh boy. This is going to be fun. Let's see. Strength is a 6. Intelligence, 8. Wait, yeah. Speed, 6. Intelli uh, strength, 6. Intelligence, 8. Speed, 6. Endurance, 8. Rank, 6. Courage 7, Fire Blast, Fire Power 2, and Skill 7. That's amazing that he has such high skill. Unfortunately, he does not come with my first blaster, which I really wish he did. Flanker, which as a Target Master, Minicon, Micro Master, whatever he's supposed to be, um, his stats are... Let's see, strength. The farther away from the bar, the harder they are to read. Let's see. Going from that side. Eight, strength eight, intelligence ten, speed nine. Endurance rank and courage are all eight. Fire blast, firepower six, and skill ten. So, they both kind of complete one another. As for posability on his part, he can just do the arms and that's it. Also, he turns into a cute little itty bitty jet with Autobot symbols on its wings. Little scout drone thing. And of course, oh, not the arms, legs. This entire section goes like so, and becomes technically his first blaster. A big triple barreled one at that. <laughs> Recoiled so bad. That's why the My First Blaster was invented for him. Because he can't handle... His hands are too small and the kickback would be too big. And the shoulder is on a ball joint, elbow, ball joint, hip, ball joint, hinge knee, and you can't turn the head, can you? Nope. You can look up and down, but he has to tilt from side to side to look around. And that's really it about his little tiny robot form. Pushing the head so and these little nubs little pegs right here will peg into his uh, tummy slots right there and now you have the front of the truck over and it's called a crossover on the back I wonder why There we go. And there. A little itty bitty tiny pickup truck. Of course, 
I actually push the hood up a bit so it looks a bit more like a Cybertronian form. That's kind of pushing it, really. But it does kind of help with the illusion. And then you can attach flanker up here to be a turret. Or have him be a little rocket booster. Whoosh. Alternatively, you can also attach flanker to his robot mode, which uh, I can always put back through. See? Really easy. And there we go. There's flanker attached to his back, but he hangs down real low, so you detach him, put him in blaster mode, sort of, but with the wing pack up here, he actually looks more like a booster now. And this has actually been a short review for a cute and entertainingly short robot, who he himself represents the entire fandom of Transformers. All of it. It's amazing. He's like the only one who knows how to transform Rung into his uh, alt mode, even though no one actually knows what Rung is. He doesn't even know what he is. But he looks like a welding arm. He also likes to use the word quest a lot. He also doesn't like to shut up. Because <laughs> TF Wiki says, also known as shut the hell up. With that being said, and this being a short review for a short but awesome little robot, uh, I just have to say this. Later.